moving right along to our first talk, um, please welcome uh, Nikhil uh, Dubaka. Yes, am I pronouncing it right? Yes. Um, he's going to be doing a visual regression testing and Drupal uh, presentation. Um, I'm not going to read the whole thing, but basically, like, how do we make sure that that change that you just made to your website didn't break the entire look and feel of the site somewhere else? Um, so he's going to go over some good stuff there. Uh, Nikhil recently moved here from Boston, so hopefully he's already a Yankees fan, or, you know. Um, or he goes back, basically, yeah. <laughs> And there he was a Drupal lead at edX, um, and he goes by uh, Technique, T-E-C-H-N-I-K-H, -H, on Drupal.org and Twitter. So if you want to get in touch with him after this meetup, you can do that there. And take it away, Nikhil. We're going to switch your computer to, we're going to switch, there we go. It's going, it's happening, it's going to be, there it is, awesome. Thanks, Alex. Do you want this mic? Or do you... uh, I need to type sometimes. Can you hear me? Yeah. Cool. So yeah, as Alex mentioned earlier, I was uh, talking about the same topic last week at New Jersey camp. That was like 45 minutes, and now I have 10 minutes, so I'll try to get some thoughts. Stop me if, you, if, it's, uh, if it's fast, too fast. So yeah, uh, that's me. And yeah, as uh, Alex was mentioned, I just moved from Boston to New York. And I'm looking for opportunities over here. So if you know of any cool Drupal opportunity, Stop me. So I'll quickly go through this. Why visual testing? Uh, this I have taken the snapshot from Drupal.org homepage or the download page. As you can see, this is black color. And let's say Dries has asked the junior developer to change that black color to blue color. Uh, the developer goes in, sees that it's a H2, goes to CSS, and adds that color blue. The page looks good. It's deployed to prod, it's live on Drupal, and boom, home page is broken. <laughs> Build something amazing that was in white, now Drupal is not amazing. So why did it happen? Uh, because, I mean, for, in the first place, it was a H2. A good developer shouldn't target it. Based on that, should target it deep enough. And as you see, even the home page subtitle slogan is using H2, and that's why it changed to blue color. And this, is visual, uh, this would have caught if we were doing visual testing on the home page along with the page that you were modifying. But it's hard, like let's say Drupal, right? Uh, it has thousands of pages on the site. It's hard to do it manually. And there are good reasons to do automation. One is this, because not all things you can test manually. It's good to do some automation. So I have written a module called Drillenium. It's on Drupal.org. I just combine like Drupal and Selenium. People who haven't heard about Selenium, it's a browser automation suite, and I'll go through it in a bit in the demo. And this helps you in automating the visual test. The concept is simple. Like, uh, so before you make changes, you will tell the system to take screenshots of the web pages using some tools that will go to your web page and take the screenshot. And you make your changes after the screenshots have been done, like site upgrades or just like in the previous case, making CSS change. And after you make the change, you will, take it, the system, you will tell the system to take another set of screenshots. And then the system will calculate the difference between the first screenshot, the base version, uh, and the new version. Uh, there are so many image manipulation tools, so like image magic, you can calculate the difference between uh, image pixels, or you can generate an animated GIF out of it. So when you look at the GIF, you will clearly see what changed from the old versus the new. Like this. Uh, this is the baseline image. It's in small letters. And the new version, you made a change to capital letters. The diff, you can, the system will show a diff that in this region, something has changed. And if you look at uh, this is a GIF animation, so when you see the, the difference is that one version has this link show all columns. I think I took it from Drupal 8 administrator. So now time for this quick demo. So I have like two pages here. I'm logged in. One is an NYC page and one is Boston page. Not sure why I chose red for Boston. But yeah, as you can see, uh, we have the NYC and the Boston page. And let's say the business requirement, some a uh, product manager has asked you to change this color to red. So the developer goes to 
goes to color. See, so that's title and slogan. I'm changing it to rad. So the developer has changed this, and boom, it looks nice as required. Not nice, but yeah, as required. <laughs> uh, so now the automation comes in. If the developer has not done the testing and has deployed it, as you know, this white color would also have turned red and it wouldn't look nice. So this is the module that I was talking about, Drillinium. Uh, I'll not create the test, I will use an existing test that I have already created. So I have created for the NJ camp. I'll quickly go through the test. So I have created this test. I mean, it's a form where you configure. So here I'm saying that first in the test, I have to click a button. So I have targeted using CSS that the test, the automation has to go to the browser to this Boston page, NYC page and click on this button and hover over this element. Like click on this button, take screenshot and hover over this element, just for demo purposes. That's what I have configured this test. Click button, take screenshot. Don't take the screenshot of the whole page. It's only taking the screenshot of the top banner. And I have uh, done that using CSS code here to target the element that I want. And after taking the screenshot, it will just hover over that uh, this element, and I will show you how this automation happens. So let's say I want to run this test. I'm going to test, run. So this is the demo test. I want to do a visual regression test on it. So I'm saying that I want to name it. NYC meetup demo, not the base release, but I have created a base release already, so I'll just create a new release. Uh, so it's going to this the same site, which is in my local, and I'm telling it to log in as admin user to do the testing just because uh, the Boston and New York pages are restricted and anonymous users can't access. So this automation will go to that page, log in, and then test as an admin user. So I'm telling it to take snapshot. I'll show you a terminal log. What's happening is a fire uh, in the back end. I have installed Selenium on my local, and in the back end, the Firefox browser is being launched. And so I'm not touching anything. As you can see, it goes to the page, it goes to the login page because I told it to log in. It's typing those username and password that I entered. And Watch carefully, it's clicking on that button, taking the snapshot and hovering over and taking the snapshot again. It's doing the same thing on two pages. I'm out of time, so I'll just go quickly. So now that we have the set of snapshots after the release, uh, I'll just compare the things that I did before, before demo and this. So in the backend, I am using image magic to generate this highlighted diff and the animated GIF. So as you can see here, this is, it took the screenshot of just the banner and it's showing a comparison between the base release, which was white in color and the new release, which was red in color. So yeah, it has several features. I'll quickly go through a couple of them. So one is, uh, I have, configured several things here, like local, you can test using the local Selenium server if you have uh, time and uh, capability to install Selenium and ImageMagic on your system, or you can pick remote Drillinium server. What happens is you will send all the information to my Drillinium server that will take the screenshots and will email you when everything is ready for you to look at. Or we have Source Labs server where you can buy the Source Labs account from Source Labs and put those details here, username, access key, and which browser you want to test, and all the screenshot taking will be happening in Source Labs for you. Uh, nothing to do with me, it's uh, vendor free. So 
the advantage with Sauce Labs is that you can test across multiple browsers, multiple operating systems, and multiple versions. The other thing is, when you use Sauce Labs and when you can't install Image Magic on your system, you can use GitHub to do the image comparison stuff. Uh, here, GitHub has cool ways to compare images, like you can see, if you do swipe, when you drag the slider, you can see what is the difference between the base and the new. So even you can't, you don't need to host the images, GitHub will do it for free at this point. And there are these, these are multiple plugins I have shown about clicking buttons, screenshot, and hover over, but you can do all this fill text box and all that stuff. And the cool thing is you can import and export these tests or modify them. Uh, it's based on C-Tools presets, so you can use features to export it. It has Drush integration too, so you can just say that after a GitHub uh, deployment, you could run these tests automatically instead of clicking the button. And it has integration with Agar and DevShop too, so you could integrate that whole automation, like taking the screenshots and everything using these Agar modules that are linked. There are other tools for this, all this visual regression testing. One cool thing is show.io, that's kind of Drupal specific, so uh, check it out if you want to know more about uh, other tools in this area. And I don't think I have time for other things, but yeah. Yes. Don't go yet. Don't go yet. No? There we go. Hi. Does anybody have any quick questions for Nikhil? We have one question right there. Hi. Um, I have a question. So all the tests are, are just done through comparison of screenshots, or can you also, I noticed there were buttons there for verifying elements. You, uh, so can you make tests that essentially yes, it, do assertions and pass and fail? It can do the verify text present or those kind of things too. So it can, uh, currently it's not that supported. Right. In Post Labs or in local, the backend is Selenium, so it's possible to do it. Right. The current thing that's happening is all client side. Uh, if you know there's a Selenium add-on in Firefox where you can run these things sure. locally, so that's what it does. Those plugins that you see, it will generate a Selenium script when you do this configuration. Sure. And you can tell the Selenium add-on to do that you test. Have to then go in and, and alter the, the script that is created. Right. And yeah, the potential, the possibility is that it can also run through Sauce Labs and stuff right. in the future. That's in the roadmap that I want to do. OK, thanks. Awesome. One more question. All right, thank you very much, Nikhil.